One, two, three. Three fun handmade pendulums. There we go. Look what you made today. Miss Thang. Hi, she's sick. But go to the doctor tomorrow. Yeah. You can tell she don't feel good. So everybody send healing and love energy to Miss Cookie. Hey y'all. Um today I thought it would be fun for Make It Monday to make a pendulum. Um how many of you work with a pendulum? Um, this is a real classic style. Uh, this is a style like uh, what I sell. So it's, um, let's see. We're looking at uh, about an inch and three quarters. Uh, stone and there'll be different types of stone and you can use the stone because it's pretty you like the color you like the property that stone just resonates with you it's warm in your hand I mean there's so many reasons why y you would choose that stone for your pendulum so you want to bring your palm up um, to the to the stone or to to the object uh, and then lower your palm and say, show me yes or show me no, and see what it does. So show me yes. Okay. And then... Show me no. There we go. Yes is back and forth, and no is a circle. And then I would ask yes and no. Thank you. We're oh, really communicating. Um, then I would ask yes and no questions. Um, and a lot of times um, I will do a pendulum before I do a stone reading just to ask if we're communicating. Uh, so I just, you show me yes, show me no. Uh, and then I ask, are we communicating? And if it says yes, then I'll go ahead and do a reading. If it says no, then I won't because my energy's not right. Um, and there's a, a lot of other ways. A friend of mine and I go ghost hunting and uh, we will use a pendulum and we will ask, is anyone in the room? Um, so we do show me yes, show me no and say, is anyone in the room? And then, then we have dowsing rods and other things too, but so, you can buy a pendulum, or let's make a few today. Um, my favorite one that I use all the time, and I can't find it, <laughs> is a piece of amethyst on dental floss. And I love it. And I've, I saw it, and I put it away, and I was like, I'm going to remember where this is. And I can't find it that's my favorite um, but so I just have some random things and let's have some fun oh first though oh I found this baby yeah in my stash poor little thing has been in a box with a bunch of other stuff and uh, it's a little chipped up um, this is agate look here a little druzy here See the pattern in there? Isn't that pattern gorgeous? But we've got some chips here on the corner. Um, so its value is emotional value for me only. It's not something that I would sell. Um, but this, the color. Look at that. It's amazing. Now, check this out on the bottom. Da -da -da, look. Look. That's druzy. 
Look how close can I get up in there without the glare of that light. That's Druzy in there. All the little teeny tiny crystals that were forming there and here. How cool is that? How cool is this? So now it's out of a box and it's displayed the way it's supposed to be. And I'm excited. The other thing that you can do too um, for pendulum, for communication, if you have uh, like a favorite necklace, this is one of my, oh, I wear the crud out of this moonstone and I wrapped it. And uh, as I was wrapping it, the further along I got, I was like, oh, this is mine. I'm not selling this. And I um, wear it pretty steady a lot. Um, but on the end of the cord is a knot that won't go through the bell. And you can do the same thing. Uh, hold it up. And be... Show me yes. There we go. And show me no. Oh, yeah. There's the circle. And your yes and no's could be different. This is the yes and no for this question, okay? Or for this session. Um, the one thing with a pendulum is you want some weight. This was hefty. Um, if it's too light, you're you're not going to translate anything through your through your string. Um, moonstone. Uh, but you guys know that, right? Because it's my favorite. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, so I thought some fun thing to do uh, to make pendulums. Um, you can do with random objects, um, found objects, right? Um, so I've got a couple keys. We'll do some uh, amethyst, more piece, uh, some turquoise, communication. Um, now to figure out how much wire we need. Um, gonna have to be able to <coughs> make a wire wrap to go through here and then have like a bail on the top plus the length of that and those three, well, these three together are, I don't know, an inch. Uh, so I have some uh, nickel silver. I'm not going to use sterling for this. Uh, it's just a fun little project. <clears throat> so we need at least an inch, enough for a bell, enough for a bell at the top. Uh, I don't know. So uh, we'll do four inches. How about that? I think that'd be plenty. So, about four inches. And, <clears throat> let's make a bail at the top. So go down, I don't know, what uh, about an inch, maybe? Let's see. Go down, yeah, about an inch. And I'm about halfway down my um, round nose pliers, which is gonna be a decent sized loop uh, for a piece of cord, chain, something. Um, so I've got a grip there. I'm going to push this, push it to the back so we're perpendicular. We know the drill. Quarter turn up. Bring the tail to the front. Half a turn up with your round nose pliers. Bring this tail down and then to the back. And then you'll see the start of the form of our loop here. And now let's just make a few wraps. Just bring it around to the front. Push it around to the back, bring it around to the front, push it around to the back. Make a nice little wrap there at the top. Tighten it up. Let's go ahead and clip off that tail. And then I'm going to use my chain nose pliers and mash that down real good. Here, that little tail. Yeah. Okay. So I think that'll pro that'll be so that'll be the top, and that's a good size for cord or chain here. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my round nose pliers and just straighten that up just a little bit. There we go. Not too bad. Now I'm gonna add my beads. So amethyst, turquoise, amethyst. These are pretty together. I like working with, with those together. Not only their properties, but just their colors. Okay. And now, we got to make 
a bale on the end of this to go through here. So I'm going to go about a third of the way down. Uh, I'm eyeballing it. Push the push the wire to the back. Do a quarter turn up. Bring that wire from the back all around till it's facing you. Do a half turn up <clears throat> and go ahead then and push that wire back around to complete your loop. Okay, this is just to get the loop started. So we actually have a loop to work with. Okay, and then this is the tricky, tricky part, which is trying to <clears throat> do a, a closed loop and adding something to it. So I'm going to take these out. And I'm going to thread my key onto my wire. <clears throat> Sorry, I had dinner. So it's here, right? But it's still open. So now I have to fit my round nose into... <clears throat> into the loop along with the item that's in there okay so that will make your loop not perfectly round um, okay um, so I brought it see how it's elong uh, sorry 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 uh, see how it's elongated here so work it just like it's work it just like it's just your uh, round those pliers and push that tail to the back bring it around over the top push it underneath over the top and just keep wrapping it around wrapping it around until you have made a wrap that's nice and snug up against your bead combination here and then take your side nippers give it a quick close nip and then finish it off by taking that little tail and mashing it. Now what you can do here, <clears throat> if you see this, how it's elongated, take your, uh, your chain nose pliers and you can form it if you want to, to make it more round. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So. There. A pendulum. Let's put it on. <clears throat> I have I have a spool of cord. So I'm gonna cut um, about a foot. It doesn't have to be really long. I'm gonna cut about a foot of this. If I had some chain, I probably would put it on chain, I think, but um, so yeah, we're at about cut about a foot of this, right? Nothing spectacular. It doesn't have to be schmancy, it just has to mean something for you. So there's two ways you can do this. Uh, you can tie this on with a knot, or you can take some wire and wrap the wire around here. Around, 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 and seal that on. It's a little bit more flush. Uh, but for, <clears throat> for this, I'm just going to tie it on quick. And nothing spectacular. That is nice long. Okay. So here we go. So let's. All right. Here we go. Show me yes. It's got a little bit of extra wobble with it because of the way the key hangs off of there. So there's a back and forth for yes. Let's go ahead and stop it. Show me no. Look at there. A nice little circle for no. Wow, yeah, we are really communicating. This is a good one. So, this little found object pendulum. Pretty cool. Um, maybe you want to do one that um, reflects, say, your hobbies. Maybe you were a seamstress. I thought this would be a fun one. Look, I've got some really fun buttons. How neat are those? I am, oh no, there it is. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, I got seven buttons. And so I thought it would be fun if we stacked them up to size. Right? A nice little, cute little stack of buttons. Um, and I've got this P 
piece of extra wire. This is copper, about 20 gauge. This is um, this is a wobbly, oh, about 11 and a half inches. Um, so I thought uh, what I would do is since there's four holes in each one, I think I'm going to take the wire down through the top, back up through, and do the bail on the top. Okay? Um, so, what I'm going to do is build it backwards. So I'm putting on my smallest to my biggest. Um, so that way I can line up my holes. Okay? fun thing to do with some one-off buttons um, <clears throat> and it's got some good weight to it so we're going to take it down and then I'm going to feed it back up through I'm going to bend it over and feed this wire back up through here so I'm doing it on the opposite side see there opposite side opposite side just feeding them through there. Give that a spin around. And go up through the opposite hole. And then through the opposite hole. Alright. Take my chain nose pliers. Go ahead and pull this up. So we're nice and see there, we're nice and snug on the bottom. Nice and tight little little stack here and there's two ways you can do it you can do a double uh, loop with this or uh, make a bail with one side and then just bring this one around I think that's what I'm going to do just for simplicity um, <clears throat> I'm going to spread them apart okay and I'm going to go about two thirds down my round nose plier I'm going to take this tail push it to the back Gonna go up a quarter of a turn, bring the tail back around across the top, back towards me. I'm gonna do a half a turn up. I'm gonna take this tail, I'm gonna go ahead and push it around underneath. Here. No? See there? Then I'm gonna take this tail. It's a little awkward. And I'm gonna bring the tail from the back around to the front and start that coil right let me use my pliers here and I'm gonna push it to the back around to the front stay on camera tish all right so there I've used up my my tail right it's not per it's not perfect because I don't, it's not jewelry. I, don't, I mean, I just don't care because um, I'm gonna cover that up. So now I have that. I have this started. So I'm gonna straighten that up. Okay. Then I'm gonna take this piece here and just keep make sure I'm keeping it tight, right? <clears throat> and I'm gonna just take this across and just wrap, just around and around and around. And what I'm going to do by doing that is tighten it up, and then I'm going to cover up that little piece of tail that wasn't quite right. See, a nice little, nice little wrap here. Oh, still got a nice little piece of leftover to put in my scrap pile. Make a pair of earrings or something with that. <clears throat> Straighten this up, and got that little tail. See here, this tail. There we go. God, cute. I mean, just it's colorful. It's cute. It represents a craft and a hobby and your art that you do. I mean, I sew, so this this has meaning to me as well. And then I have a I've got a spool of, of chain, so I'm gonna do same thing about a foot. <clears throat> this this chain. Um, each it's not um. 
um, a closed end. So it's just, uh, it's open end, so you can open them. See? Like that. Take that off. And I'm going to hook that into here. And I'm going to get, <clears throat> use another set of pliers. And I'm going to push these back together. Like so. Now look at this. I had a rock and pendulum on this really neat antique copper chain. Right? How cool is that? Okay. Here we go. You ready? It's got a nice little heft to it. Show me yes. Hi, Cooks. Really awesome. Okay. Show me no. Look at there. Look at there. We're talking today. So there's a cute little craft pendulum that you can make yourself. Right? Okay. That's a fun one too. Then I have, let's do one more. Let's do one more. I've got this. I thought it might be fun to do something with these. They're, they're replicas of, um, they're stamped replicas, and I, I think they are replicas of Chinese coins. And a big piece of magnesite. Uh, this is dyed howlite here. And um, this is just a little little glass bead. Um, but I thought these would be cool to stack up and have the star be the bottom. Hey, look. I have that extra piece. Let's use this. Um, so I'm going to build it from the bottom up. So on the bottom, <clears throat> I want to just basically make a tiny loop in the end of my wire and then I'm going to mash it um, to mash it shut. <clears throat> At the very end of my round nose pliers, I'm just going to, I'm going to grip, Cooks is here, I'm going to grip it here. Hang on girl, you got it? Okay. I'm going to do a turn and make, like I'm going to do a spiral, like I'm going to do a, a coil. See that? But then what I'm going to do <clears throat> is take my chain nose pliers, but it push that all the way to the back. You have your most power back here. And I'm going to give it a mash. I'm going to give it a good water bucket hand mash. And you see that? That gives it tensile strength. It's going to set it into place. And we're done. Okay? Now, the bottom. Hang on. I'll straighten this. Yeah, straighten it there. We'll put my star on first. First, I got to decide how do I want it to hang? Do I want it to hang like this off the bottom? Or with point down? I think the design will sit better if it's point up. I think. I think so, because that nestles real nice there. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to put on this big, it's heavy. This will have a nice swing to it. And then I'm going to put this coin on. And then this really pretty dyed. It's going to nestle itself right there in that. You know what would be even prettier is if I had like a, a rondelle, um, which is a flutter. Think of this squashed, this type of, this is, this is a rondelle when they're squashed like that. But for tutorial, because here's why I think that's going to move. So we need something that's going to fit in there. So I think we're going to have to use a rondelle. So let's see if this fits. These are my new ones, by the way. I just got them. Hey, they're really pretty. We doing cooks. Hi, lady. Yeah, well, yeah, these are pretty. Let's see if that nestles in there. Yeah, look at that. 
yeah it's not gonna move around so that's our design okay um, so that fits round peg square hole haha -ha. okay so I'm gonna put my about a third of the way down and we'll push this tail to the back I'm gonna come up a quarter turn I'm gonna bring the tail around to the front I'm gonna bring my round nose pliers up a half a turn and then going to bring this tail underneath and to the back to start that loop right for our bail. And then you're going to want to keep this design tight. So bring this tail around to the front, push it under, go to the back, around to the front, push it under, go to the back. And as you get closer and closer to this bead, Make sure that it stays centered in that coin because it's going to anchor it in. So we're going to do we're going to do another round. We're going to pull it to the front, push it underneath to the back. Oh, that just got tight. See now? See how tight that got? So now I'm going to bring it to the front one more time. I think one more. And around to the back. All right. Yeah, that's nice and tight. Okay. Take my pliers. Give it a cut. I'm just going to work that little tail there. Down onto the bead. It's just so we don't have any rough edges. In case you want to carry it around in your pocket. I'm just going to keep working it until it works in. There we go. Wow, that's really cool. Look how cool. All right, I'm gonna use that same chain. Man, I might have to start selling these on my website because these are really cool. Okay. I did about 12 inches of that that chain like we did before. I'm just going to attach it on here real quick. Right. I love this one. Ooh, that one turned out so cool. Okay, so we ready? Here we go. Oh, I like this. Show me yes. Oh, we are communicating. Look at that's a nice big swing. Okay. Show me that one. Get a nice little circle going. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Are we communicating? Look at that. Yes, we are. Should I sell these handmade pendants on my Etsy site? I believe that's a yes, y'all. So. Here we go. Really fun really really fun so these are pendulums there we go one two three three fun handmade pendulums there we go look what you made today and remember you don't have to ask yes or no to be peaceful and be kind is important. I'll talk to you soon.